cones are placed at n 2 comma 8 okay so what are we saying there's a cone at n which is the coordinate is 2 comma 8 so this is 2 on the x-axis and 8 on the y-axis so this is your point n so let me write n here okay and m which is 7 comma 3 okay so this is 7 and 3 so this is 7 comma 3 okay now for this type of question you the first thing that you need to do is to learn uh, read slowly okay the next part says make a hyperbolic path so that you're always to the right of the line passing through x is equal to 2 so let's draw the line x is equal to 2 so by dotted line so this line which is passing through 2 on the x-axis is called x is equal to 2. So this is the line x is equal to 2. We'll read this again. And the line y equal to 3. And above the line y equal to 3. So what's the line y equal to 3? So this is 3 on the y-axis. So the line passing through 3 on the y-axis is called y is equal to 3. So this line is called y equal to 3. So let's read it again. Cones are placed at n, which is, this n is 2 comma 8. So let me write 2 comma 8 like this. This is 2 comma 8. And m, which is 7 comma 3. So this point, this point m is 7 comma 3. So you want to make a hyperbolic path so that you're always to the right of this line so to the right of this line and you're above the line y equal to 3 so you're above this line okay so that's important and you pass through a point 1 meter to the right of n so let me use a different color so each square let's consider each square of 1 meter by 1 meter so, and you're passing through a point 1 meter to the right of n. So, this is n. So, this is 1 meter to the right of n. So, what's the coordinate of this point? Well, this point is 1, 8. 1, 8. And uh, 1, me and, uh, 1 meter to the right and 1 meter above m. So 1 meter above m is this point and the coordinate is 7 comma 4. This coordinate is 7 comma 4. So what, does, what, what are they asking us to do? We want to draw a hyperbolic path like this. So the curve would look like this. You want to make a hyperbolic path you're always above this line and to the right of this line okay so you're approaching this line but ne never intersecting that is what it means so this is a hyperbolic path and we want to write the equation of this line okay so to write the the general form of a hyper hyperbola is y is equal to a over x plus or minus b plus or minus c now, you can directly tell the value of B and C directly by looking at the asymptote. So this is your vertical asymptote, which is X is equal to 2. So what is the vertical asymptote telling me? It is the value of X, which the function can never take. X can never be 2. So to write the equation, so the equation would be Y is equal to, you can stop this video and try to write the equation, X over sorry a over x the base i uh, when i write the value of b i look at it like this which is the value of x or for which value of x what should i write so let me write 2 here okay i'll not put the sign here and this the value of y is always going to be above 3 okay so you can say directly plus 3 Okay, so what should I write here? Should I write plus or minus here? So I think like this, the value of x, if it is 2, 
if you put 2 in place of x, what will make the denominator 0? How, how can you make the denominator 0 when you put x is equal to 2? Well, it has to be minus 2. So, this is how I look at it to confirm my answer. I'll put this in the bracket. If I put 2 here, which is the vertical asymptote, I can see 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, 2 makes the denominator 0. Or, if you want to understand in a different way, the vertical asymptote has moved 2 to the right. So, moving to the right means minus. So, this is a different way of looking at this. So, basically, if you put two ways, one is the vertical asymptote, the basic hyperbolic, uh, hyperbolic uh, equation is for the basic hyperbolic equation, the vertical asymptote is your y-axis. Your vertical asymptote has moved 2 to the right, so minus 2. Or, thinking in a different way, well, if you put 2 in place of x, 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. If I, if I put plus here, okay, 2 plus 2 is not going to be 0. Okay, and that's why I should put 2x minus 2 plus 3. So, we're almost there. We have to just figure out how, what is a. So, we can put when x is 1, when x is 1, what is y? y is equal to 8. So, let's put this in this equation. Okay, so let me use a different color. So, I can say, if I put this in this equation, I can say 8 is equal to a over uh, a over yeah, 1, 1 take away. Uh, let me write like this in the bracket 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2, plus 1 minus 2, plus 3. Okay. Oh, this point is not right. Okay, so I made a mistake. That was I was wondering what's the problem. So, this coordinate is not right. Okay, what's the coordinate of this? This is 3, 2. This is 3, 8. Okay, always good to check because I was... I, I was getting a negative A. A cannot be negative, yeah? A has to be positive because it, this is in the top right quadrant. So, this it has to be positive. So, this is A is equal to 3, yeah? So, I'll change this to 3. Okay. So, I can say now 8 is equal to A over 1 plus 3. Now, taking away 3 from both sides, if you take away 3 from this side, you have to take away 3 from this side. So, what will happen? You can say phi is equal to a over 1 is a. So, the value of a is phi. So, the final equation is y is equal to phi over x minus 2, x minus 2 plus 3. So, we need to confirm these two points, 3 comma 8 and 7 comma 4 on the graph. So, let me get my graphic calculator out and let me, yeah, I got the equation here sitting here. So, let me go to graph and type in the equation. The equation is phi divided by x minus 2 plus 3. Okay, I can see only one branch. So, it's on the right hand side. So, if you scroll like this, and if you go up, you can see the, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. So, can you see this? This is the hyperbolic part, and then go G sol and uh, Y calc when X is equal to 3. When X is, uh, okay, so I need to change the scale. Okay. Yeah. Shift F3, so make it standard. And hopefully, I can see the graph now. Yeah, I can see both the branches. We are interested in this branch. We are interested in this branch. So, G sol and Y calc when X is equal to 3. When X is equal to 3, Y is equal to 8. Okay. Which is the next value. When X is 7, Y should be 4. So, again, uh, Y calc when X is equal to 7. When x is 7, y is 4. So, the equation is right.